Welcome to another video. Hi, how you doing? Clearly, we're talking about microphones today. And more specifically, as you can see on this one, which I have not used before on my channel or really at all apart from testing it, is uh, we're talking about polar patterns. What are they and what are the different ones and then what are the uses for different polar patterns? And I'll be telling you which microphone we're on at any given time down in the corner of the screen. Currently, we are on the NTG1. So polar patterns, also called pickup patterns, is how a microphone picks up sound in space. Basically, it's directionality. So there's certain microphones that are built to have quite a lot of directionality to reject noise from behind and the sides. And there's other mics that are built to capture all sound from every direction the same. So basically how the diagrams that I'll be showing you throughout this work as each line is minus five decibels. So the basic pickup patterns we're gonna go through are more of the most popular ones. As you can see on the back of this Blue Yeti, this is a Blue Yeti, post uh, Logitech, I think it's still the same mic though. We can change the pattern of the, on the, this dial here. Okay, so we're now on the Blue Yeti and it is currently set to the bi-directional pickup pattern. Now this probably sounds, it'll sound slightly different to the shotgun mic that we were just using, but the directionality is still relatively the same at the moment. Uh, but because it will pick up in two different directions and not the other directions, this is built more for like an interview sort of setup. So it'll pick, pick up from directly in front and directly behind. So if let's say you had two people sitting opposite each other, put this in the middle like this and it'll pick up both perfectly fine. But if we turn to the side, a lot quieter and it's not going to be the same quality sound so that's the bi-directional pickup pattern and we've changed now to the cardioid pickup pattern on this microphone and as you can see by the diagram it is vaguely heart shaped which is where it gets its name from cardio cardioid and it'll pick up very well from directly in front of the microphone whereas from the back not so much now there are birds outside my window making some noise. You probably can't hear them. If you can, that's not a deal, but it, this should be doing a decent job at rejecting that sound from behind. To demonstrate sort of the directionality of this, if it's pointing directly at me and I start turning it, it should get quieter and lower quality the further I go than when I get right behind it. It's significantly quieter. And that works the same on both sides. Now we just spoke about cardioid and there are a few variations of this. We have cardioid, the regular cardioid. Then we have super cardioid like shotgun mics use and the directionality on this is much more directional than the cardioid it pick it rejects a lot from the sides but it does pick up a little from behind as well so it'll pick up mostly from the front and it will have a bit of play like i can move around like this and it won't really change too much but if i get right around to the side then it's going to pick up a lot less or at least diminish the quality. This is used in shotgun microphones like this, used in movies and TV to pick up the sound of, let's say, an actor speaking and still get a little bit of the surrounding sounds, but not too much. Uh, that's actually, you can see the vents on the sides of this microphone. That is to allow some of that sound in from the sides. Now, along with supercardioid, if we go even more directional, we have hypercardioid, which is Basically the same as super cardioid, but even more directional. And it picks up even less from behind the microphone. Now this dynamic microphone, the AT2040 from Audio-Technica is a hypercardioid pickup pattern. So it is extremely directional. So that means if I come off to the side over here, you can really notice that difference there. I can even see that the volume went way down when I moved to the side. Now I've done a video on dynamic versus condenser mic where I talked about this, this mic and this mic specifically and the different differences between them and the uses for each. But when it comes to the highly directional microphones like hypercardioid microphones, this is great for, let's say, podcasting and streaming if maybe your environment isn't too quiet. Uh, so that means it's not gonna pick up reflections off the wall or something happening out my window behind the microphone. It's not gonna pick that up very well at all. And that's also another benefit of the dynamic microphone is you can get really close to it and be super isolated with the sound. Here is what the super and hypercardioid pickup patterns look like compared to cardioid. As you can see, there is a significant difference between them and cardioid, although between them there's not a huge difference in the actual pattern of how they pick up sound. 
And if we switch over now to the omnidirectional pickup pattern, and this pickup pattern is, as you can see, a circle. It's a, or really a sphere because space. So it'll pick up all sound from every direction evenly, the same volume, same quality. So that means that I can move this microphone around and nothing should really change about the volume of my voice, no matter which way the mic's facing or where my voice is coming from. It should be relatively the same. This pickup pattern is very common for lavalier microphones and similar things like the Wireless Go 2's built-in microphone, that's omnidirectional. So it doesn't matter where you turn your head or move around, it'll still pick up the same. Whereas if you had a more directional pickup pattern, if it was pointing, let's say up, if it was clipped onto your shirt here and it's pointing up and then you turn your head to the side, it's gonna reduce the audio quality. Whereas if it's omnidirectional, it'll just pick up everything in all directions the same. This pickup pattern is pretty good at creating a very natural sound because it'll pick up everything from around. So it'll more sound like you're actually there hearing everything because you are hearing everything. The only difference is it's just, is it's not gonna really have any directionality with, let's say if there's sound on one side, it'll just be even in headphones or speakers or whatever. Going back to the Yeti, I've put it into the final of the four pickup patterns. And this is the stereo pickup pattern. Now from the front, it probably sounds pretty similar to all of the other ones because I'm directly in front of it. But this is where it sort of gets interesting. As I go over to the side, it moves to that one ear. Or if I go to the other side, it moves to the other ear. This part makes a lot more sense if you're wearing headphones or have speakers that you can clearly tell which side is which. And I can even whisper, welcome to the ASMR portion of this video. This is weird. It, it feels kind of weird. So that was weird. <laughs> but as, as I'm back here more, you can tell that I'm directly in front of you because it's picking up evenly on the left and right. And if I turn the microphone around, it would do the same thing. So now we're on one side, onto the back side. Now we turn to the other side and we keep going and we're back to the front again. So that is the stereo pickup pattern that is used in microphones like this for applications like that. Or according to Blue, they have this uh, they have this nice little chart on uh, on the box that sort of tells you what the uh, what each pickup pattern is best used for. And they have little diagrams of like, how they're used, like where like where the sound is going to be coming from. And it says on here that it is good for vocals, ensemble, choir, and instruments. Which makes sense, because then if you want certain sounds coming from certain areas of your sound stage, then it makes sense if you want your guitar over here or your whatever. It'll just, it just feels a little bit more natural. It'll feel more like a, let's say, a live performance with a different sound coming from different places rather than just being perfectly even from everywhere. So that is polar patterns and how they work, what they are used for. I hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, hope you found it interesting. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button twice and then refresh the page and watch it again. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Go watch another video. Okay, bye. I feel like I'm doing a press conference with all these microphones like right in front of me. Like that meme of things that should be important and then there's the thing that everybody's talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen that meme, right? All right, can anyone guess which microphone I'm using? What about this one? And then this one. Leave your guesses in the comments. And, and, and for, for anyone, anyone wondering, this is what they all sound, sound like together. together. No, no, it probably, probably sounds awful. awful. Okay, okay. okay. Anyway, anyway, goodbye. goodbye.